Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Boo. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up, firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. Wish I had my own broom. <laughs> this is brilliant. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! Made it! Did anyone else see that? Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Ha <laughs> 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 Brilliant. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clopton. So, care to join me for a bit of high-flying fun? <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Uh, 
Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Looks like she's already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favourite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Ah, oh, new face. Wonderful. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? That item is of the highest quality. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! <laughs> Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades.
upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you! It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Claw. Imelda Rays? Albie Weeks sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you? Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Made it.
This is rather fun! Ugh, that's not... You, you must have cheated, you... Ugh. Fine, you won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. My plan is to have a to help. Oh, you're back! With something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm, how to address the issue of outage? Professor Weasley? Hmm, somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard! I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor.
What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal Rebellion. on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Go on those chairs. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... Goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Oh, dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not... Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What was that? Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Here. 
Revelio. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Careful. Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. <coughs> Hello. Ah, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes, imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. 
Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook cranny and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the Room of Requirement has its own rules. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another Transfiguration spell for use in the room. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I have the Moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor?
Good work. Shall we move on? I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Lumos. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you? Would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy, as though I'm outdoors. Hmm, oh, sounds perfect. Hmm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. <laughs> <laughs> 